Like an open book of the planet's natural history, the Penn Dixie site in Blaisdell can teach us a whole lot about our past and the future could hold a new world record. Terry Belke explains as he takes us to the outdoors. The idea is trying to understand the Earth's past. And, and, and this is a history book. The rocks are, are the sheets of paper that, that tell us about what things used to be. Penn Dixie Fossil Park and Nature Preserve is a geological treasure located just south of Buffalo in Blaisdell. The former cement company has evolved into a living chronicle of the planet's past. For decades, it was mined as a quarry for concrete production, helping to build the New York State Thruway and for local construction. It was closed in 1980 and lay dormant for years until 1993 when the community recognized its inherent worth. The Hamburg Natural History Society was formed to preserve this natural wonder. The community uh, activists merged with the science folks who saw the value of the rocks and uh, they were able to get the town of Hamburg to purchase the land from a local landowner uh, at a discount rate and then the town of Hamburg donated the land to our newly formed nonprofit under the conditions that we clean out all the garbage that had been accumulated here by years and years of illegal dumping uh, and also keep it open for science education. Today, the park stands as the top-rated fossil quarry in the United States. Hidden within its stony landscape is the rich saga of our planet's deep past, an archive of a time over 30 million years ago when our region was covered with a vast saltwater ocean. So basically, you have the continent of North America colliding with North Africa and Europe. And so where you have a collision, you have mountains being built. But further inland, the land was actually depressed. And so the ocean flowed in. Uh, and, and filled, filled that basin. And so we were in that basin that actually extended uh, to Erie PA and beyond. Uh, and it was a perfect environment. It was shallow water, so it was warm. There was a lot of sunlight. We were south of the equator. Uh, and it was the perfect habitat for coral reef and those sorts of animals that would live in and around a reef. One of the more fascinating remnants to be found are trilobites, plentiful at the site. They were uh, a bit like the cockroach other times. They were everywhere. Uh, they lived in oceans and they uh, lived for a very long time. Uh, they were more successful in terms of uh, length of time as well as diversity than dinosaurs. Next Saturday, Penn Dixie will be attempting to set a record for world's largest fossil dig. The Guinness Book of World Records actually created a new category for them. And they specified that we would need to have 500 people collecting fossils for at least 30 minutes. Uh, they have to use tools, uh, and then all fossils have to be verified by paleontologists. And so we said, all right, let's do it. Uh, we set the date for August 25th, and we've been planning for over a year now. If you'd like to take part in this historic event, pre-registration by August 21st is encouraged. We'll provide a link to the Penn Dixie website on the To the Outdoors webpage at WGRZ.com. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.